Hello, second and fourth grade. Miss Josie here with our weekly lessons. Um, this, this week's lesson is pretty exciting. Um, I've named it Love is Love. We are representing and celebrating pride for our LGBT community. We're going to learn a little bit of history and just talk about why it's important this month for this community and kind of just shine some light on them um, and kind of represent them and support them this um, month of June. Okay. Um, so some of you guys are like, what do you mean love is love? Well, very simple. We love who we love and just to be accepting and no discrimination, no hate on this community. Um, I kind of want to just kind of shout them out and just let them know that we are here to become allies and support them in their community and celebrate along with them this month. Okay, so um this reference of these acronyms right so you might ask what is the lgbt community miss josie and what does it stand for and what does pride month mean well pride obviously is just to be proud of ourselves and celebrate who we are as people we've talked about uniqueness in the past and celebrating people's differences this is going to be a community that we do that for okay so l standing for lesbian g standing for gay and b bisexual t for the transgender community okay um, I know it might be confusing for a lot, but it is important that we learn about these acronyms and we learn about this community so that we can support them and learn how to be accepting and things that we can do um, throughout this month of June to make them feel that they are welcomed, okay? So on campus, we are a welcome safe space. So we talk about these lessons, we explore the history for all communities, okay? So just kind of like we, um, honor people in their skin color or the color of their face or their eye, the color of their eyes and their hair, okay? We want to um, shine light on their uniquenesses and celebrate their differences and be supportive, okay? Um, and that's why we call this love is love. We want to love who we love and we want to just share that equality-ness, uh, not only in the community, but just every day with any individual that we come across, okay? Uh, maybe they not, might not have the same things as us or celebrate in the same way that we do, or our culture does things differently, um, but it is the same as um, the same as that, right? We kind of want to learn about them, learn about their history and what they've gone through. And how do these people celebrate, you ask? Well, they celebrate doing fun things. They, lunch, they listen to music, they dance, they have parades. Um, the Rainbow flag is a great way to represent this community. They have them hanging. You'll see them around. If you've come to my office, you've seen me with some flags that I have displayed up. Um, so we wanna be able to put these things up to show that we are representing them. We're supporting supporting them. We are proud of them. They've had, they've come through so much through so many years. Um, the last few years, we've gone through a lot in history, which we'll talk about in a video of um, kind of how they've overcome a lot of discrimination and a lot of hate and how they had to hide who they were. Um, but we are proud of them. Um, and let's kind of go into more of why it is important. Well, it's important to understand people's histories like us. It's important to share our backgrounds with people like where we are from, what do we love, what things that we like, um, things that we dislike, right? So I think it's important to honor people and their achievements and to really um, celebrate these people who've gone through such a hard time in history, okay? Um, that civil rights movement, the last few years, you guys have seen us march. Last year, we've done the Black Lives Matter where people are marching and they're screaming and they're shouting and they're marching for their rights, okay? We wanna be able to do this as well for this community. This is another community that has gone through so much and we wanna march with them and we wanna celebrate with them and we wanna be proud with them as well, okay? To respect and recognize and learn about this community, learn about about their individuality and what they love, okay? Um, I think that it's really hard sometimes when we are younger, we have lots of questions and we're very curious, but this is what these lessons are for. They're supposed to support and advocate um, for all communities, all skin colors, okay? Um, and I just wanna be that person to really shine light this month because they get the whole month to celebrate, okay? Starting June 1st was the first day that they kicked off Pride. And you're probably like, well, what are some of the things that they've gone through, Miss Josie? What does their history look like? Well, on our next slide here, I have some fun stuff that we can learn about to get you guys educated and understand what it was like for the LGBT community. 
But if you want to write essays that inspire. Oh, we well, got to skip messages. this advertisement. Um, but I hope that you guys really enjoy a quick history on pride. Pride. What is it? Well, the word pride means to be proud. And pride is also the name of a number of events and parades which take place throughout the year, sometimes known as gay pride. These events are like a party. It's a celebration. But why do we celebrate? Well, it dates back to 1969, New York City, and a place called the Stonewall Inn. The Stonewall Inn was one of the few places where the LGBT plus community could go to be themselves. Because at this time in history, people who were LGBT plus were not treated as equals. Many people treated them unfairly. At the Stonewall Inn, they were safe to be who they were. But on June 28, 1969, the police decided to raid the inn and tried to arrest the people inside. But the LGBT plus community had had enough. They decided it was unfair the way they were being treated and that they shouldn't have to hide or be ashamed of who they were. And so they protested, meaning they refused to be arrested. It was quite a dangerous thing to do, but still they stood together as a group for what they believed in. The police eventually backed down and these people were free free to be themselves. This event helped pave the way for LGBT plus liberation. Liberation meaning freedom. Exactly one year later, a march was organized to remember what had taken place and how the LGBT plus community had stood up to inequality. Every year, this parade grew and grew and has now become what we know as Pride, and in fact now takes place on many days and places throughout the world. It is a day to celebrate freedom and equality for the LGBT plus community, and everyone is invited. The best thing about this history lesson is knowing things can change. If something is unfair or wrong, we can stand up for what is right, just remain calm and speak your truth because we are all equal and deserve to be treated fairly. So yeah, that video is a great quick history of Stonewall and what these people went through, okay, and their history of just inequality and kind of just facing some very awful things that um, that they've worked a long way to get through and just fighting for unfairness, right? We saw in the video that they can't work places or they can't wear that or, you know, the police harassing them. Um, we've, cut, we've had lots of civil rights movements the last couple of years, and this is a community that has come through a lot. So this month is supposed to be exciting. It's supposed to be about love. It's supposed to be uh, honoring other people. And um, here at Darnell, we create a safe place for all of our students. Maybe we know some family members who identify with the community, and we want to be able to support them and make sure that we're loving them and we respect them, okay? We want to be their allies which means advocate for them, things that we can do for change, um, because equality is something that we all equally deserve to be loved and our differences should be loved. We don't always necessarily have to agree what things that we like or don't like, um, but to be able to respect these individuals, okay, and to be able to show that love all year, let's celebrate with them, let's learn and educate ourselves on their history, okay. Um, so if you do have any more questions about pride, I would love for you guys to come and ask me. You can stop at my office. I'm sure your teachers would love to talk and explain, have a discussion more about pride. 
Um, but this lesson here is just to shine some light on this community and celebrate with them and dance and have fun and just show them that we do love and care for them as well. Okay, so hopefully this lesson is helpful. And like I said, if there's still some more questions that you have, I'd love for you to come to my office and I'll answer them. Okay, hopefully you guys have a good rest of your week and that this lesson was helpful.